Just say you just listen to this and just off rip. That's gonna hit, that's gonna hit you so left. So let's say for instance, you have an entire body of work. Let's say you make a lot of music for an extended period of time and you wanna take all those joints and put them together into album format. And I'm pretty sure you probably listen to, you know, your favorites put music together and wonder like, how in the world did they sequence this project? How do you sequence music together? And I learned there is a power of three. Okay. And so whenever I make my music and whenever I release, you know, music, I like to release music and put music in sequences of threes. And so think about threes as like energy, right? So you got three being something that establishes the music, the next three that does something that switches the entire vibe of that gives a different perspective. And then it kind of like goes back up again and matches out the energy that you just gave from the very beginning to the very end. A good example of this is in my album, The Funk Will Prevail. I have the first three songs that are all heavy funk disco. And then Lil Bit comes in as the third joint within the next three that switches the whole vibe. And then after Lil Bit comes Trippin'. And Trippin' is also on the same powerful energy as that. And then as well, another three that goes into that song as well is uh, uh, Swing It. And so those three, those two, three sets are what I like to call the energy wave of threes. And, and I realize where that comes from. DJs also DJ in threes. If you ever notice, if you ever listen to like, you know, really great DJ sets, you ever notice like every two, every three to four songs, something switches like really great DJs. Joe K is really good at this, by the way. If you ever listen to his mixes, every three to four songs, something about the vibe kind of like either goes up or it comes back down. It's, it feels like a wave, a wave of threes. And so <clears throat> I'm going to show you all a little quick method I like to use. Let me go and open up this screen and show y'all how I do it. So let's go to, I'm going to just pick a random folder of uh, beats. Matter of fact, I'm going to pick the first volume of beats from the discord, the early, early years of the discord. So we got 598. Let's say I want to make, <laughs> let's say I want to make a random 500. You want Monty Burger New Smith? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was, uh, but I'm going to just take, I'm going to take like half of these, right? So let's go all the way up to like, let's go all the way to like 598. We about to go through an old batch of beats, y'all. You ready for this? Ready for this? So check this out. This is about 90 minutes, but we're going to slice this whole thing down. It's a lot of beats. I'm going to just cut this down in half. And I'm going to get rid of all this. Well, no, I'm going to get rid of all this. Delete all this. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to take all these beats and just kind of see what, where we're at with it. And so, so yeah, I'm going to just play the first one that pops up. So I got this one. Make sure the, the, the intro is not playing. So, hey, Siri. Set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes starting now. So let's see here. I'm going to just take the first joint. Take the first joint. Let me just press play. This is a beat that we did last year. This is a cool beat. So let's say, let's say even intention wise, what kind of project do I want to put together? Do I want to put together like a mellow one? Do I want to put together like a bunch of just dope beats that kind of cohesively go off of this same vibe? Sounds like something I could do. And I don't, I'm pretty sure I got a bunch more of those like that. So 
let's say you take a bunch of the cre- the creations you make and you want to be able to sequence them. So what you have to do in order to sequence is listen back to the beats. That's the only way to do it. That's the only way you can go back and listen. So I basically like to set up a track and one by one, as I'm listening to one, I only lose my respect if you disrespect me I'm nice as it gets, that's why heaven protects me I've been blessed with the demeanor of a king But you won't lose your breath Shout if you overstep my boundaries time. I keep my friends close and my enemies at a distance Always with an eyesight, you won't catch me slipping Dip about my life and you won't catch me missing you I caught feelings before, that shit made me too cynical Sometimes I'm lyrical but on occasion I'm simplistic I keep it short and sweet, I see Tootsie Rolls in the distance Halloween on the way, I then totally my birthday, then Christmas week. All this time passing by, I'm still here reminiscing About back in the day, when I wasn't so fatalistic When my dreams fell out of reach, I just ran without a mission But now that I'm so close, I can feel anxiety building Either I'm succeeding life, or will blink past my existence I kinda like this, so uh, Mo Gratitude said, I use I use region colors to signify model, bright, dark, then organize similar shades. So check this out. This is actually my method of what I like using. One of the things I'll do, I'll either mark things as red, red being something I need to go back and actually work on, orange that only it needs a few things, and then green being it's done. There's nothing else to add. So peep game on this. I'm going to mark this one. I'm gonna mark this as a red. This J. Quellen one feels. It feels full, so I'm gonna leave it, leave it as orange. You know something that'd be kind of crazy? I think this beat goes into this one. This actually, I think it does go into this one. Like the same key. I think it's the same key. Yeah, this I think it is. Hold up, watch this. Oh, that's another orange one. So you hear how... As I'm playing the beats back, this, these two tracks just now synced up together. And what I like to, what I like to work towards when it comes to making music is finding these small syncable moments, these small syncable moments that at any point, if you play them back to back, they will fit. So check this out. Literally, the beat went into itself. Another one. See that that's that's not even like that's not even me thinking transition. That's not even me thinking. It's just as you listen to the each record, what goes into itself and whatever goes into itself is what you keep. Whatever doesn't, you know what to do now. I will say the pack, sh- the magic of threes, right? If you can get three that all cohesively go into each other like this, then that's its own level of energy right there. So, and what's crazy is if you listen to tracks back to back, you will be able to sense energy wise what changed or what wasn't cool. So I'm gonna make this another track. Let's add this to another track. Yeah, this is a good one. Actually, me. Make sure this is, there we go. Now, if I were to play the next beat, will it be the same vibe or will it be a different vibe? It changed a little bit, so I'm gonna leave that as, I'm gonna make that a red. So that's a cool one, but 
I want the energy to go down. I want to keep, I want to keep as much of that as possible going. This is a cool track. This one featured uh, Young Billy uh, and Taylor. Taylor Music. I miss Taylor Music. Hope he's doing all well. Let me see the next track. Let me hear the next track. Let me see if this one fits. If this fits, I'll probably I'll probably like maneuver it. But this is how I, how you usually know. Ooh, you know what? Because I'm thinking in power of threes right now. So check this out. This power of three. Let's 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 link this one. Let's link this one up right here. I'll show you right here. Do do do. All right, here we go. This is, let's see if this works. Let's see here. Oh. Now it's like, you hear that one note. That's like right into it. That's exactly how I how I always come up with good transitions because there's like a correlation to all of them. So just even playing this one, I'll show you all the transitions so far. Mm. Mm. Uh. So see, here I like it, it made you want to keep going after the song is, at, is done. So another great teacher of that is this too. See what just happened? It didn't end. It, it, a new song began, but you still kept that same pace. Thing. We just found a power of three, right? Power of three could either look like these three stay like it is, or or we find a way to do a switch up. Like so, the next three, the next three that come after this, gotta switch up the vibe to some degree. So see how we're slowly starting to like mark these as like red and what's orange, and then ooh, okay, so. I like this one. This is cool. But then there's another one I know that would be even better than that. Oh, this is a great one with AT J, J. Quell. These are all beats from the Discord, by the way. Produce these on the Discord. Oh, this is a great example. <coughs> <coughs> So let me show y'all something crazy. This is a great example. So this beat, of course, is going to be is, is, is used for Iman Europe. But this is a great example for it. Watch this. You let the beat kind of play all the way out, right? And I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show you how this switch up is about to go. Watch this. See how and now here's now here's the trick. The trick of organizing beats into itself is not what sounds going what what is it? I'm trying to find a way to word this. It's not trying to make things sound good back to back to back. It's what keeps going after the song ends. Do you still have that same pulse? Do you still have that same energy? So this is literally, this is a great way of putting it. So you don't even need to be a musician to do this part. Watch this, let me show you. So 
so let's say you want to just end on a snare. You can end on a snare. So instead of it ending on do do do, this right here, because this is also spacious, we're going to mimic just that space. So let's go ahead and delete all this, right? I just need a snare. I just need a snare. This right here, we're going to do this. And this is how I transition all of my albums. I try to find little pockets where they just kind of communicate this little bit of space that makes it feel like the space or the energy, the pulse is still going. So watch this. Watch here, right here. See how that works? See this? See how that works? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ayo Will says, so Kaylin, you don't necessarily care about the next song being in the same key, right? No. Oh, it's about pulse, bro. Because you could totally be in a different key, but as long as that pulse is going, that's the DJ method. DJs don't, not all, now, all DJs, there are certain DJs that only go off of pocket and feel. Key, if you happen to get lucky with a key, great. But you don't always have to. Yeah, it's like a call and response to the intro and outro. It's like you could play it in it back by itself or playing it into something else. The pulse still, still keeps going. Matter of fact, why do you think, why do you think whenever people put together playlists, like have you ever listened to a playlist where like the music just kept going? It's because there's a pulse to the whole thing. So it's like, you're almost playlisting your music. It's like, yeah, are these beats warped when you're doing this? No, they're not. They're not at all. I'm just kind of like dragging them in and letting them. Yep. Yeah, so watch this. Someone who naturally would listen to this, not even... Let's say if you take the musicianship out of it. A, a regular listener, you just listen to this. Let's say you just listen to this and just off rip. That's gonna hit... That's gonna hit you so left. Hold on there, player. I got something important to tell you. If any of you guys who are watching want to watch all this back, I currently have a thing going on called Full Studio. Access eight bucks per month for the entire catalog of all these Twitch streams. It goes back to 2021, all the way up until right now. As well, the Access Plus option that gives you access to the catalog, the consultations, and a 30% discount code to anything I drop in the future for my sound packs right here. So if you're watching this, cop the full access, please, please. I'm gonna walk away now. For more information, cop something from my store, wait for the email, and join the Discord for more. Now back to the video. And then let's say you wanna be like, I want the next one to be just as left field as the last one. So let's go back to the beast and see how many other ones we got. So. That's a good one. But it's not as switch up for me yet. It's just unexpected. Like you, that's where it went. That's the, that's the thing you have to make people be like, Hey, like I just felt like I did not expect it to go this route. That's how I like to sequence my music, sequence your music. Like I didn't expect it to go this route. Have like threes where you're playing in threes and you're like, Ooh, Ooh. And then like, Oh, you know what I'm saying? So let's say here, let's say here, I'm gonna just, Let's say I want to keep that, that same kind of pulse going, but maybe I might switch it up. Who knows? So I'm going to keep that as a, I'm going to make that a green. That's a green for me. This is a great beat all the way. So let's see here. I need to do something specifically. Let me delete this one. I'm coming at these. Let me see here. What would be really crazy? It's work too when it's played in shuffle. You know, I'm cool with this, but I'm not like married to how different it feels like it's the same vibe, but it's not like, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's work too when it's played and shuffle. 
Yeah, it is. Uh, so green means great orange. So I'll just give you all a little breakdown of the colors again. Green means good. Orange needs work. Red needs work on it or replace it. That's just that is literally it. The power of threes. OK, that is how I mix and sequence. So that's a cool one. Big. At all, pride comes before the fall. Should have been more prideful. You're better than a booty call, or I guess not. Ooh, this would be a hard transition. Hold up, watch this, watch this. It's the same key, bro. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Just watch this. Right here. Uh uh. Do do Scott. This would be cool. So watch this. There's something creative you could do here. I'm going to just do this right here. Take this out. I just want this transition to go right in here. Ooh. But there's so many different possibilities. There's so many different possibilities with that. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that be an orange though. I'm gonna let that be an orange. So that's cool. But like I know something that's even stronger than that sitting on on all these beats. So that's how I like to go and sequence my music. I like to sequence by seeing what pulse is carried and how far can we tr can we go with it. And sometimes I'll just set a timer for 20 minutes and I'll just purposely put songs next to each other and see what works. <laughs> Of the resemblance instead of calling my baby I This one, we got this one. I might leave that red one there. I only lose my respect if you disrespect me. Yeah. This is not the album. This is just the Discord beats I've made over the last three years. Calm. But these are just all the different tracks. If this was an album, I would not just do it this nonchalantly. Matter of fact, all the different transitions, they all. Uh, 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 so I could go back over here and mess with one of these. Uh, I could do this right here. So this is how I want the beat to end. This is how I want the beat to end. I want to eat it like I want to end it like this. Let's see, I just want that one part. If I get that one part, we straight. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see here. I just want that. Give me that. Just that part. Yeah, this is the Discord album, bro. This this would be the Discord album. Once my next project is done, like the Discord album is gonna be what I'm focusing on. That's gonna be next. Uh, bump, bump. Watch this, watch this right here, right here. This is it. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. That's a good way to transition. And sometimes, sometimes, if you just mess around with your transitions, you can. This will creatively inspire the rest of your music decisions. Because you listen to everything back. When you listen to everything back, that's when the ideas start to form. And so, so I'm going to show y'all right here. This is literally it. Really 
See what I'm saying? And what's what's wild is if you take a combination of really great tracks. That's what I'm saying. As to you, you, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's how it works. That's exactly how it works. So whenever you do have these pockets, it's these little pockets of moments where you're giving everything its own space and you're ending it. You're ending it to make people either play it back or you're ending it so they keep playing it. And that's how it works. That's how. And, and you know something's so sad? I think with the way this current day and age of music, this is such an overlooked art piece because there's people who genuinely know how to put music back to back. And I think in the day and age of like not people not really bumping albums like that, this this is a lost art form. You can literally sequentially edit a project where the music just feels cohesive. This is how cohesion happens because you have music that keeps going on a pulse. A great example of this is um, when when Michael did did a, a, a thriller. Right now, here's something crazy. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just show y'all something crazy. You ready for this? You ready for this? I'm gonna just show y'all something crazy. I need y'all to understand what these songs that they were coming out with way back, way back in the in the '80s and the '70s. The fact that big hit records were all back to back was not by accident. This was this was specifically crafted. I, matter of fact, I'm gonna just do something real quick. Let me look at Michael Jackson's. Michael Jackson Thriller. And I can see why. If you look at just the soundtrack listing of all the songs, I see exactly why this album was regarded as one of the best albums. So let me show y'all. I'm going to show y'all exactly how this looks. Open up Spotify. Open it up right now. I just want you to peep the track list because the track list is going to make so much sense now that I told y'all this, this idea. But Michael Jackson Thriller. All right, so check this out. If we were to look at this track list, look at this. Wanna be starting something? Great record. Baby be mine. Cool. Uh, Girl is mine. Incredible. Now this is when it starts to get interesting. Thriller. Then you go from Thriller into Beat It, then from Beat It into Billy Jean, and then Billy Jean into Human Nature. Dog, that is an incredible four song. See, that only comes when you listen to all the music you got and you cut out the noise. What does not need to be here? That's why I have that red, orange, and green method. The power of three. That's how I like to sequence my music. Matter of fact, hold up. Let me let me show you, let me show you something even crazier. So Stevie Wonder, Stevie Wonder. I'll show him songs in the key of life. When I found this out, I was like, no wonder this is one of the greatest albums ever. No wonder. Pete, this <clears throat> songs in the key of life. Love is in need of love today. Have a talk with God. It's Village Ghetto Land. Contusion. Now watch this. Sir Duke. I wish. Knocks me off my feet. Pastimes Paradise. And then Isn't She Lovely is also on the same track list. That's crazy. That's crazy. All of these back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Imagine not even like no wonder there were no wonder artists were so regarded back then as like the greatest because it was. It was like the same pulse. That's the secret. The secret was the energy that went to each song. It was like, oh, oh, oh. I did the same thing with the Funk Who Prevail. I'll show you all my music. Hold on. I'll show you. This is this is the last example. This is the last example. I'll, I'll use myself as an example. Okay. So, the funk will prevail. I'm gonna show y'all something. Of course, Buck. Buck goes into Cat's Groove. Cat's Groove goes into Home Cooking. But then you get a little bit. Then you get tripping. Swing it is cool. 
and then you get the calm. It just progressively, there is a pulse that I try to follow for the whole thing. And these are just beats. These are just beats. Let's use Kendrick Lamar as an example. This is a, and once y'all find out that there's like these powers of like three sitting and all the music that we listen to, that's what makes these records incredible. You can go and find like songs that had great sequencing intervisions. Yeah. They all sequentially, they all sequentially did something back to back to back. Uh, I'm going to pick one last one. Let's do... To Pimp a Butterfly. This is another great example. Wesley's Theory. For a free interlude. King Kunta. Institutionalized. These Walls. You All Right. For a Cell Mama. Hood Politics. How Much a Dollar Cost. It, it, it's like there's these great sequen- sequences of energy and they just follow. So if you ever get curious to know how do I sequence my music, peep your favorite album, look at the tracks and see what kind of posts they follow. And if you want, literally mimic it. Find the pulse, you find the energy, the power of three. Yeah, the flows, it's the albums. It's it's like it's like you not only found the flow in the music cuz the music is just one part of it, but if you can cohesively do that. This is why this is why guys like Isaiah Falls he's one of the goats because he found he found the sequence. Oxnard by Anderson Pack is a great one for this too. Yeah. Once you catch that pattern, there's that sequence. Is that sequence of just insane music. So, I digress. I digress. I digress.